Welcome to your guide to Winter Anime 2014 with your hosts, FireMac and Enips. Alright. We've been reviewing the latest trailers of the anime for Winter 2014. And what we're gonna Actually, do. Though, It's only about like three weeks. It's only about like three weeks. It's late. Shh. Ooh. Not everyone follows anime like this, okay? So this is this is helpful for some people. Mm-hmm. It is. Anyway, what we're gonna do is watch a bunch of trailers. You know most of these animes are probably already running. <laughs> and we're just gonna give you like yay or nay. In other words, either watch it or fuck it. Just our opinions, you know. We're not gonna get too heavy into it. It's just our opinions. Uh, first up, we have Silver Spoon Season 2. Now, what we're gonna do now is watch a little trailer that's been provided here, and we'll give you our, our opinions of if you should watch it or not. Alright. What's your opinion? I'm passing that shit. No. It's passing. Nay. Nay? I say give it a shot. From what I've seen, it looks interesting. Hey, and it's a slice of life an anime from what I've read. And it takes place in a farming school? Yeah. A farming school? Yeah, it looks like, like There's definitely farming going on from what we see. But from what I was showing, it looks really down to earth, and I use, I like that kind of anime. Like, like it, was, it was the same deal with Beck. And I really like that anime. And this, I this looks. Watched it. Hmm? I never actually watched Beck. It's a good Beck. Good. <laughs> not a good Beck, a good anime. I like it. It's a good anime. It's kind of, it's not super, it doesn't look super realistic, but at the same time, it's down there. Alright, so, again, Silver Spoon Season 2, for me, yay. From Eneps, nay. Next up we have Seito, wait, I'm gonna butcher this. Seito Kai Yukui, Yukui Indomo. Wow. Yakui Indomo. Yakui Indomo. Seito Kai Yakuin Domo. Alright, anyway, I'm just gonna read a short description of what it says here. The second season of anime about a boy who enters in a formerly all girl high school and is forced to be the student council vice president. Well, we had a slight error, but we already actually watched this trailer. <laughs> Basically, from what we saw. I'm giving it a pass. I'm like also saying nay. Hi, Jinx. It looks like a very typical generic anime to me, and th that's just my first impression on it. And just because of that, I don't want to check it out. Nay. Nope. So next up we have Donari, Donari no Seki Kun, Donari no Seki Kun, the Master of Killing Time. Genre is school life and comedy, and here's a short description of it. This is a short-form anime about a young girl who is constantly distracted in class by the crazy antics of the boy sitting next to her. First impressions? I'm gonna watch it. Really? Yes. I'm interested. My first impression is like, what? What? <laughs> what am I looking at here? <laughs> uh... It was like a lot of fun little comedy. Uh... Okay, well, I'm gonna pass on this one. For me, no. For me, yeah. From from what I saw, I, I didn't really get to see anything, so it's like... I couldn't really grasp what what kind of anime it is. I mean, they gave us like a little clip of some sort of... Like, it was a girl who couldn't look at the boy or something. No, she was wondering what the hell he was doing. Yeah, but while not looking at him. She just didn't want to... One of them. I guess she didn't want him to notice he was looking at him. Maybe because she likes him? Possibly. I don't know, it wasn't enough information to go on, but... It is a trailer. Yeah, but usually you get a better grasp from a trailer. It really didn't show much. But, once again, one more time. No for me. Yeah, for me. Next up, we have Saki the Nationals. It is a school life sports anime. Boy, Enips has heard of it. Alright, here's a, sh a short summary. Oh, the first season, at least. The second season of an anime about a high school girl in a mahjong. Bleh. Mahjong. Mahjong. 
Mahjong Club. Mm. Your thoughts? I might actually watch it after I watch the first season. Yeah, we are watching a trailer for the second season, so fortunately we are kind of missing out a little bit. But... I like it. I'm mildly intrigued. I'm not exactly jumping out to check it out, but it looks interesting enough that I might give it a shot. So, so uh, yeah, check it out. Give it a try. Next up, Tessaguri Pukatsumono Encore. Genre, school life, slice of life. And here's a short description. The second season of a short form anime about a group of schoolgirls and their extracurricular activities. Alright, since we couldn't really find a trailer, I can't really uh, give you any impressions of it other than this nice screenshot I'm looking at. And what I've read you. So, what about you? What's your impression from the little bit of what we got? Eh, I'll give it a maybe. Nay! If you watch the first season, you probably should watch the second season. Well, obviously. That goes for all of this stuff. If you like the first season, go for the second. But what I'm seeing, well, the an it looks like it might have decent animation. And usually, usually when an anime has decent animation, it usually means they pay more attention to the, the plot, try not to fuck it up. You know what I mean? But that's not always the case. Is this is a slice of life thing. It is a slice of life. It looks like a bunch of schoolgirls. And it's short form, so it might be just 10 minutes long or so. But there's no real overarching plot. Kind of like Kion. Yeah, pretty much. Kion had a uh, theme, sort of. Cute girls doing cute things. That's the thing. So it's probably a Moe thing. Yeah. So if you're into a Moe, yay. Otherwise, yeah. Right now, I said nay, but... Yeah, pretty much the same for me. Can't really give. If we saw a trailer, we're gonna give you something better. All right. Next up is Sakura Trick. It's a romance school life anime. The short description is: Two longtime female friends, afraid of drifting apart as they enter high school, decide to share a kiss and thus begin a relationship of a different nature. So, what, what do you think? I'm interested. Actually, actually, yeah. I'm actually, from what, what I saw, the animation quality looks really good. Like, it looked like it flows real nicely. And from the description I read, it looks like it's going to have an, a different take on the romance genre. And I guess it, I guess it's pretty much alluding to Yuri here. Pretty much. Yeah, it might actually be pretty good, so I kind of say yeah. Yay for me. Same. Yay for me. Alright. Next we have Love. Chunibyo and other delusions. Ren. Chunibyo demo koi ga shitai ren. You can pick one or the other. Same title. I just said it in English and in Japanese. If anyone's a Japanese speaker, I'm sorry about butchering this. Anyway, it's a romance comedy, and here's a short description. This is the second season. Oh, it's another second season. Who knew? Second season of an anime about a high school boy who used to suffer fantastical delusions and a girl who is still suffering from them. Oh, well, right off of that, I'm kind of interested. You already got my yay. Fuck, alright, move it on! <laughs> oh, alright, next, let's watch. Yeah! <laughs> That's fine. It, it looks really good. And I'm sure people who've already seen the first season know it's already a yes. I'm gonna check out the first season. I'm actually really interested in this one. So yay? Yeah. Next we have No Written. Genre. Comedy romance. Here's a short description. A high school boy at an agricultural school finds that his newest classmate is his favorite idol, who quit performing recently under mysterious circumstances. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright. Yes. So what did you think? Has a lot of plot. Lots of plot? Yes, lots of plot. 
Hey, gosh, my vote, yes. No, but this, for serious, yeah, seriously for a second, it actually looks really high quality from what we saw. And it looks like the comedy's pretty good, so yeah. I say give this a try. Next video, Onechan ga kita. Yeah, Onechan ga kita. Genre, comedy, romance. What is it about in one sentence? When a teenage boy's father remarries in this short form anime, he finds he has a new sister. One who is in love with him to a, a disturbing degree. Okay, first impressions? Boob slap. I like it. Well, there, 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 was a, there was a boob slap. Other than that. So maybe. Okay, my didn't impression. Have, didn't draw me in. Didn't draw me in. Well, I was... The concept sounds really interesting. The like, concept alone would kind of get me to watch this. But watching the trailer, things that kind of bug me, the animation style, the art style in general, looked a little weird. I don't know if you got that vibe. The, the art style kind of... Kind of threw me off a bit. So, it, yeah, it, it's like you, it, art style usually doesn't matter, but it, it was kind of jarring for me. But otherwise, I, I would kind of, I kind of give it a yeah. It, just based on concept alone, it sounds really interesting to me. I might give it a try. So yay for me. Maybe. Next up, recently, my sister is unusual. Saikin Imoto no Yosa ga Choto Okaishin da ga. This genre is comedy, romance, and supernatural. What's about one sentence? Well, let me tell you. To move on to the afterlife, the ghost of a dead girl must fall in love with a boy by possessing the body of his stepsister. I just gotta say, before we even talk about it, the incest has been pretty strong these past two videos. You know, it's supposed to be the stepsister. Alright! So! Thoughts! I like the premise. I'm definitely gonna give, give it a whirl. It's very interesting. If you're bothered by... Pseudo incest, because it is a stepsister. Then, just a warning, don't check it out. But from what I'm seeing... It looks to be overly cute. I like that. Which I do not mind. And then the premise is very perverted. Very, very, very perverted. From what we see, it's like, oh, well, as I said, well, as I the description said, the stepsister gets possessed by a girl. A dead a, girl. Dead girl fall in love with the boy. And yeah. I'm assuming the bo the brother doesn't really understand, or of course not. <laughs> it's gonna probably be she's all. Yeah, I hate you. And then when she gets possessed, like, oh, let's make babies and all that. So it's yeah, th that's what I was, from what I've seen, that's what it looks like. So the pervert in me says, yeah! The, the other side of me says, maybe? No. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. Half hearted, yeah? If that's even a thing. Alright, moving on. Nisekoi. It's a comedy romance. And here's the description. The son of a Yakuza crime boss finds himself engaged to a rival gang leader's daughter that he hates, but must pretend to like to keep peace between the gangs. Impressions. Mm, I really don't like promises. Childhood promises. That bugs you? Yeah, that really bugs me. It's, it's played out. Oh god, oh god, I hate it! So it's a cliche that bothers you? Yes. Clichés normally don't bother me, so that doesn't matter to me. So, from my view, it looks alright! I feel like it, the animation looks really nice. So the, there's the that. Shaft. So that's expected from Shaft, though. Right. Well, yeah, from what I've seen, it looks alright, so it's... It, don't really feel strongly one way or another for it, so... Meh. It's kinda maybe for me. Do you two? Cause we have Defrag. Guess what the genre is? Comedy Romance. 
Ready for description? Here we go. A high school boy fancies himself a real bad boy, but his behavior is nothing compared to that of the four girls he becomes entangled with. Alright, impressions. I'm gonna give it a try, since I really like the manga. I just want to watch the anime. Well, besides the oh, ridiculous huge eye girl that bothered me, it looks it looks pretty funny. You like when it has a goofy character, the little short guy with the corn rolls at hair. I guess is that that's supposed to be tri mohawk. Someone calling it a tri mohawk. A tri mohawk. The comedy looks pretty good. Looks over the top. I like that. Uh, I'm a big fan of over the top comedy when it comes to anime. So, but yeah. So anyway, yeah. Yay for me. Same here. Next up, we have. Engaged to the unidentified. Mikakunen de Shinkoike. Or Kei. Shinkoike. Whatever. Ka genre. Comedy. Slice of life. What's it about? An ordinary 16 year old finds out she is betro betrothed to a boy who then moves into her house along with his little sister. Impressions. I'm gonna give it a try. I like it so far. Of course, this is just like a music video, so I have no idea what. Yeah, to it's, it's like a, an elongated intro or something. We really didn't get to see much of what the actual anime is gonna be about. We pretty much just saw the characters acting all cutesy and whatever. It looks really cute. I will say that. That might be enough for some of you to try it, but for me, it's kind of I need to see a little bit more. But I'm, I might give it a try. It's, it's a maybe for me. What about you? I'm gonna definitely watch the first episode at least. So, so I say yeah. If you like the cute stuff, give it a try. If not, just pass it on. So it's maybe two. Yeah, maybe two maybes. Okay, next up we have Sony, Sony Ani, Sony Ani, Sony Ani, Sony Ani, Sony Ani, Sony, Sony. Sony Ani. Sony Ani Super Sony Cool with the animation. What's the genre? Comedy and edgy. It's gonna be super perverted. What's it about? This is an anime about a rock star pinup model and her busy life. Joy, let's watch. So let's move on to impressions. I'll let you start off since you have some back knowledge on this. Uh, it's no surprise that they actually made an anime of her. But I'm not very interested. There's nothing that pulled me in besides the big boobs. There's yeah, yeah, th that's the thing. It, it looks like it's purposely watch this anime because we have big boobs. Seriously, there's yeah. nothing to. I didn't hear him. she's supposed to be a rock star, a pinup model. Well, we can see she's a pinup model, what we've seen. But I haven't heard any music from her. Yeah, I mean like. Besides the big boobs, the animation quality looks pretty good. I, I gotta give it that. But, like, it looks like it has the potential to be something good, but from what I'm seeing, it's not looking like it's gonna it. go that potential. I'll watch the first couple episodes, see how, how it is. If not, I'll just drop it. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning heavily towards passing, so I'm saying no. Well, you give it a maybe. I do like Nitro Plus. Well, it is etchy, so I, I guess you can't, can't blame it for can't, the boobs. We can't expect too much from it. Yeah. And it's supposed to be a comedy, but... We haven't seen it much, much so far. It, it, feel, it felt more slice of life to me than comedy. Alright, moving on. Next up, we got Wake Up Girls. What's the genre? Comedy and slice of life. And what's it, what's it about? A struggling celebrity management company makes a last ditch gamble to create a female pop idol group by scouting completely unknown talent. Okay. Alright, impressions. Nothing really drew me in? Nothing. Well, from what I saw, I actually, the music started off pretty nice. So, I mean, it's supposed to be a an idol group, so the music from what the little bit that we heard was good for, like, it impressed me. 
animation looks good. Slice of life. I actually might try this out. I'm actually kind of interested in this one. It is a slice of life, and I am a kind of a fan of very realistic slice of, slice of life kind of stuff. Especially if it's like someone getting into the music business, but it's still slice of life. That kind of stuff draws me in, so. I say yay. I'm gonna give it a pass. Alright. Moving on. Go, go, five, seven, five. That's just not me saying random stuff. That's actually the title for next next anime. What's the genre? Big surprise, comedy and slice of life. Awesome. Oh, a yeah. Sega made video game tie-in anime about a pair of girls who become pop idols. Oh. Oh joy. It's a, it's it's a video master. game tie-in. Tie-in. Idol master. Pass. <laughs> uh, I'll give it a pass as well. It's a tie-in to a video game. It's probably... Mostly made this to bring attention to a game. It's promoting it. They want people to buy the game. It's not it's not my cup of tea. And 47 Toro Fui Nui R. R. I kind of messed up the pronunciation, but... That's what we got when we don't have a trailer. Genre, comedy. What's it about? A new season of a short form anime following a group of dogs that are anthropomorphic of versions versions of Japan's 47 prefectures. Okay. I'm not pass. I don't want to watch it. I don't feel like watching trailer. You want to watch a trailer? No. Hell no. We're passing on the trailer. Hold on. Slow down. We got to give a little spiel. It sounds like a very kid-tastic version of Italia, but with animals and Japan's preset prefectures. So, none of that really draws me in, so I'm gonna give it a pass. Plus, from the little screenshot, it looks to be like a 3D anime. No, no, I don't wanna. I mean, even the animation looks like it's bad quality too, so. I'm sorry if this, like, uh, apparently this is like the best thing ever to you, but to us. Next, we got Nyamen. Nyanmen. Nyanmen. Is that supposed to be like a pun on ramen? Uh, ah, then. Oh no. Oh man. Oh. It's a comedy, a short form anime about a group of ramen inspired cat girls. Called it! <laughs> I'm sure it's a pass already. I'm sorry. It's a short form anime. I don't think we need to watch a trailer for this. I'm sorry. It's not my cup of tea, so nah. 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 Next we have Strange Plus. What's the genre? It's a comedy mystery. Ooh, oh, thank mystery. God. Ooh, mystery. Thank God. What's it about? A short form anime where, after finding that his missing brother has become the head of a de detective agency and refuses to return home, a young man decides to join him in solving mysteries. Questions? Ah. Uh, what I've seen so far. I'm giving it a pass. I'm giving it a pass as well. Mainly because. I mean, music. I like the music in the intro. Usually, music usually gets me to watch something. So, but I kind of stopped. I was like, "Wait a second, let's try to pay attention to what they're showing us here." So, what I'm seeing, it, it looks pretty generic. I... Yeah, there's nothing special about it. So, from what we've seen, it's supposed to be a comedy, and what I've seen, it doesn't really look like my like kind of comedy. It, it is short form, but so no, I'm passing. Pass. Next, we got. Loser's hand to mouth life awakening arc. What we got here? We got a comedy sci fi. It's a second season of a short form anime about a cute, cute but evil creature. Oh, Joy, let's watch the trailer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving it a try. Just because of that last little part, I'm giving it a try. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what can I say? I don't know what the fuck to say. I don't know what to expect from this. 
Well, at first I gotta watch the first season. But what I saw, it it looks like I thought it was supposed to be like a kindergarten kind of thing. I, I, I really, I still can't. It still looks like a kindergarten thing. But what the fuck? <laughs> I'd say. You say something. I'm still deciding what to, to think of this. I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> All I know is I just like what I saw so far, and I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah, the trailer made me laugh, and, and that's good if the freaking trailer makes me laugh like that. <laughs> so you know what? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna give this a try. Now, what we got now is Cho Zen Maribo Parat Parachi. Patrachi? Patra I don't know what the fuck. I can tell you that's not Japanese. <laughs> Patrashi. Patrashi? Patrashi. Whatever. That's what we got. Genre. Comedy sci fi. When the Empire invades their country, a boy who wants to become a scientist, as well as his friend and their dog, decides to fight back in, their, in this short form anime. Okay, so we really couldn't find a trailer for this one because it's been blocked from the USA. At least the video we tried to watch. And we don't have the time to dig it up, so. I'm gonna give it a pass. I'm also gonna give it a pass from the one little short thumbnail they showed us. It looks pretty kitty. Aimed towards really young kids, so. Don't really care. Next we have Inari Kon Kon Koi Iroha. It's a comedy romance. Look, we're back it's to romance. <laughs> we're back <laughs> to romance. Alright. Ah, uh, as thanks for saving a fox pup, a fox god grants a young unpopular girl the ability to shape shift. Impressions. It looks like it has an interesting story. The animation was nice as well, but I'm gonna pass. I just don't care for it. From what I've seen, it looks very lighthearted. A very lighthearted story. It looks cute. So if you enter a lighthearted, cute story, I'd say give it a shot. But for me, I don't really. It's not interesting to me, so pass for me. Same. Next up, we have Poo Pee Poo. Comedy, modern fantasy. A short form anime about a girl bullied because of her ability to see things others can't. Befriends a floating pink blob who protects her from supernatural monsters. Maybe. But I'd have to give it a try myself. Maybe for me. Maybe. I do, I do love modern fantasy. That's mostly why I'm giving it a try. I freaking love that shit. Doesn't mean anything to me. Next, we have Witchcraft Works. Comedy, fantasy. A high school book boy discovers that the most popular girl in the school is in fact a powerful witch. And her sole job is to protect him from harm. I heard about this actually. Impressions. Go. I'm giving it a try. I like fantasy. I like what I saw so far. I'm actually going to give it a try. Yeah, initially I didn't like the idea, because usually these kinds of setups usually lead to lame anime, in my opinion. But, from what I saw, there's some interesting stuff going on. So, maybe from me. Gets from me. Next, we have Hozuki no Reitatsu. It's a fantasy and comedy. What's it about? As a Aid to the great king of hell, a demon tries to solve the problems of hell by making time for his own peaceful hobbies. Impressions! It looks funny. It does. I'm gonna give it... Yeah, I, I like it. I like it! It looks pretty funny, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Give it a pass. Wait, what? I give it a yay. You just said pass. Pass, yay, whatever. They're still the same. They're not the same. They're the same. Yokai, watch! It's a Japanese modern fantasy comedy. Based on a game by Level 5, Nino oh, Kuni. Oh, oh. It's an anime about a child who uses a special watch to collect data on yokai, traditional Japanese monsters. I'm reminded more of Digimon. Well, now that you mentioned the fucking thing that you could. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Holy crap. Just because of that one thing. I was going to totally give it a pass, but until that. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god. I need a water. I'll be right back. Why is he getting the water? I'm talking to him. While he's getting the water, I just want to say, I'm usually uh, con controversial, well, not controversial, uh, skeptical. skeptical, skeptical of anime there have any tie into video games. But from what I saw, this looks hilarious. I'm definitely going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try. It is level 5. I do love level 5. And Professor Lee. I'm gonna give it, give it a pass. I mean, a try. Yes, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we got Mina Atsumari Falcon Gaokuin. If a comedy fantasy, a short form anime about JRPG style characters messing around in a JRPG fantasy style world. Pass. Maybe. I'm interested. I'm not. Interested. I like some of, some of what I saw. What I saw, it looked very generic to me. Very generic. So, maybe. No for me. Habatora! We got a mystery sci fi in our hands. Uh, two detectives with mutant powers, X Men. Begin <laughs> investigating a series of murders of fellow mutants. This is definitely sounding like X Men. With a Japanese twist. I like it. Let me just say, I fucking love the style. And I love the music so far. Oh my god, this is... I'm, I, gotta, I gotta watch this today. Okay. Yeah. Yes. This, this looks pretty good, guys. Like, out of everything we've mentioned so far, like this one, highly recommend. Next up, we got the pilot's love song. Doaru Hikuishi E. No, Koita. Koita, yeah. That's good enough for me. We got an adventure drama. A prince who has lost everything leaves his kingdom on a quest of hatred and revenge, but learns about friendship and love as he travels. Impressions? It looks generic. It feels generic to me. Yeah, um, I, I got that feeling too. I really just don't care. There was yeah. nothing about it that pulled me in. Same here. Dark style was pretty plain, to be honest. Yeah. They did pretty well with the uh, airplanes, though. Like, they put a lot of focus on the airplanes. That's where their budget went. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't look like one way or the other, so. Give it a pass. Pass. Next up, we have Ghost in the Shell. Nyomon Arrives. Documentary. Sci-fi. What's it about? This is a short form making of a documentary series about Ghost in the Shell Rise, also by two animated characters. It looks like a prototype Tashikoma is one of the characters, and the major is one is another one of them. Oh, so this isn't this is not Ghost in the Shell Rise. <laughs> no, it's not because that was like out last year. So true that this is is a documentary about it. So, oh, I guess if you want more Ghost in the Shell goodness, give it a try. Yeah. Give it a try. I'm gonna check it out. Why not? So yeah, I do love me some of them Tachikomas. They're so damn adorable. They have a special place in my heart. Poopa. Uh, uh, Horror uh, fantasy. Uh, <laughs> This short form anime follows a boy hunting for the cure to his sister's disease. A disease causing her to sprout grotesque wings and attack people. Worried for a treat. I've already seen this. Oh, you have? Yes. <laughs>
Is that a penis? That's her brother. She was eating him. Apparently that's the thing. He's immortal. So, instead of so she can, instead of attacking people, he lets her, he lets her eat him. Dude, I'm hooked. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> I want to see this. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, I have to say yes as well. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna watch that shit. Tonight, maybe. <laughs> Noragami. Action fantasy. What's it about? A young god struggling to gain followers scrolls his number on a bathroom wall, claiming to help people for a mere five yen offering. You get to see shit. I'm gonna sell you right off. It's already on my list to watch. I've heard some good stuff about it, and I'm gonna watch it. You didn't get to see shit from that. Nope. I like the music though. It's like, mm, that's taste. Wait, fuck somebody up. It looks really good. Yes. Nobunaga, the fool. <laughs> Sci-fi mecha. Wait, what? When John Kaguya the Ark and Leonardo Da Vinci Leonard Da Vinci travel from the Western planet to the Eastern planet, they begin an adventure that would change the fate of both worlds. So this it's sounds like, off the wall already. So East meets West. Pretty much. Dude, even before we have to trade it. Yeah. It looks crazy. I like it. And there's Meta. Yeah, I need a good mecha anime this season. Now we got the buddy complex. It's mecha, mecha sci-fi again. Oh yeah. And after being attacked by a giant robot and then saved by his classmate in her own giant robot, a young boy starts on the path to become a mecha pilot. I'm getting a very Gundam feel from this. Yeah, so did I. The first is going to be kind of generic, by the way. But then I realized it was by Sunrise. So I'm actually interested. At, at I'm first, gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a tentative yay. Yeah, like at first I was kind of like it feels a little generic, but then as it went on, it changed my mind. I'm gonna be yeah, yay for me. Next up, we have Space Dandy. I'm not gonna watch that trailer because I know oh, that. Like, hell yeah. Fuck yeah! I know. You know, there's actually been people who say they're not liking it. And that's their prerogative, that's their opinion. Because I think they were expecting Cowboy Bebop. Or something like Summer or something. But, it's his own thing. Yeah, he, we, we were actually at the Otacon panel where Otakon for something, whatever. <laughs> where he talked about Space Dandy. And he pretty much said this is like complete opposite of Cowboy Bebop. Mm -hmm. So I know what you can they tell expect. From, you can tell right away when you hear the fucking freaking name. Space Dandy. Yeah. And if you just look at some of the designs he had, you can tell yes. right away <laughs> what this yeah. is going to be all about. So sci-fi action, and I'm going to give you a description. From the creators of Cowboy Bebop to Samurai Champloo comes the story of an alien hunter who is the dandiest man in space. Come on. Dandiest. With, the, with that kind of description, how could you not want to watch this? Yes, again. One more time. Nobunaga. Yes, Nobunaga. That's our next one. Another action sci-fi. While on a field trip, a high school girl is attacked by monsters and discovers she's able to wield a mystical weapon infused with the soul of a legendary samurai general, Oda Nabunaga. Oh, with an A. Nabunaga. I don't know if it's a typo or not. I think it's a typo. Hmm. Very action y. I like it. Well, it definitely has its own style. Like, it's very stylized. And just because of that, I think it's worth checking out. Definitely. So, yeah, give it a yay. It reminds me of this old anime I watched a couple of years back. I can't remember the name of it, but the concept code was kind of the same. Schoolgirl, she, when she put on this eye patch, she suddenly became possessed, I guess. I can't remember. And she was able to use a sword really, really good. Like so, like she had like the skills of an old samurai warrior. And yeah, she had it. 
I can't remember the name of it. I gotta look it up. Wizard Barristers. Ooh. Barristers? Barristers. Baristos. Baristos. We also Baristos. Modern <laughs> fantasy action. In a world much like ours, but with magic, a teenage girl becomes the country's youngest defensatory for wizards. <laughs> you sure this is not a comedy? <laughs> I recognize the st art style. It was the same people that made Mezzo, and I love Mezzo, so I'm definitely gonna give this a try. And it's my fantasy, like I said earlier. I love that stuff. For what I've seen, yeah, it looks pretty good. Like, I was a bit skeptical. I mean, once I, once I heard about the premise, it sounded a little silly. But looking at what I've seen, it looks pretty, actually, pretty damn good. So yeah, yay. Magical Warfare. Maho Ma Senso. Oh, action, modern, modern fantasy. fantasy. One day, a normal high school boy comes across a girl, <laughs> collapses at the school, who turns out to be a magician, and has turned him into one as well. Okay then. Huh. Huh. Hmm. All right. So, what do you, what do you think? I'm interested. Mm hmm. But I'm not sure if I want to watch it. I mean. It is modern fantasy. I do love that. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like the art style that much. Uh, eh. the, mod, yeah. the art style didn't bother me. It's just, I really didn't feel pulled in at all. I mean, I guess it could be a fun anime, but it's not interesting to me, so I want to pass on it. Pass. ZX Ignition Action. <laughs> Sci-fi. Based on a trading card game, this anime focuses on creatures invading Earth from other worlds. Mmm. Joy. Music yeah, was nice. Very nice. I did like some of the character designs. But... Pass. It's a trading card game. Pass. The long-haired guy. Long-haired guy reminded me of Jade from Tales of This. I'm sure it did. But I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it was the same freaking style, same hair, same glasses, same freaking face. So his eyes were blue, and Jade is red. Well, like I said, card game, don't care. I mean, I'm sure someone will like this, but it's definitely not, not my style. Not for us. No. Mike and Key two. Why don't you tell us the genre? Etchy action. The second season of a many boob school action love comedy. Excuse me. Anime about a boy who unwittingly enters a school where the students partake in magical combat. You don't say. You don't say. I do say. I can't wait to check this one out. Makin Key 2. Review time. Edgy garbage trash. Pass. Yeah, seriously, it's ridiculous. Pass that shit. Well, we'll don't watch, garbage. We watched the video. It's ridiculous how big they make the boobs. Like, ridiculous. <laughs> like, the freaking girls' school uniforms don't even fit them. Like, like it, it's, ah, it's over to tell. It's a really, no. It's supposed to be action? What action? Did you, did you see action? I didn't see action beyond the boobs. I saw a quick, 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 quick clip of it. Very quick. Right. What's going on? Before we notice. So yeah. Pass. Next we have World Conquest. Zayda plot. It's already got my pass. My yes. But I'm already what? I'm already going to watch it. Well there you go. Pass. <laughs> we gotta watch it. Well I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna fucking see this shit. I just saw a crazy dude who's like, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to take over the world. <laughs> oh, I don't think we even read you the plot. It's an action comedy, an anime about a young girl and her group of bad guys trying to take over the world. Like he just said, alright. So yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Check it out, guys. Next up, we have Double Circle. Sci-fi superhero. Hmm. A short-form anime where four superheroes who personify alternate 
energy sources, wind power, water power, green power, and solar power, protect the city of Kawasaki. Green power. Excuse me? You know, like, 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 uh, growing, like, corn oil and stuff like that, using that as fuel. Sure. Okay. Anyway, can I just say, watching this just made me think, like, this is what Captain Planet would be if it was originated from Japan. Pretty much. As far as impressions go, eh, uh, I'll maybe on it. Maybe. We're pretty much watching on YouTube. Where to watch YouTube? That's interesting. Alright, cool. So, this if you guys aren't already watching it, check it out. YouTube. This is not the first time they did something like this. There really? was another anime last season called a Frontal Cop that they posted on YouTube. Really? Yep. I've been meaning to give it a try. It's new to me. But yeah, like I, I kind of just gave you a good example of what basically my impression was. It feels like Captain Planet if if it came from Japan. I'm gonna definitely give it a try. It's on YouTube. Pretty much. It's a maybe for me. It, like, it, it has potential. It. I feel like. It's not exactly quite there. It feels a little off. It, maybe. Next up, we got Robot Girl Z. Oh, this. Superhero oh, comedy. A short form anime about a group of female superheroes, each based on a different giant robot from a long running anime, Mazinger, oh. who promote the new power in, power source, photon energy, and protect it from those who abuse it. What parents will actually know about that? I did love. Actually, I remember playing a Mazinger game on the computer when I was a kid. My parents used to like. My parents grew up in Costa Rica, mm -hmm. and they know about Mazinger. Yeah, I briefly watched it a couple years back. I never heard of it actually. It was. Uh, it was that hot blooded super robot anime. Mm -hmm. I like it. You should watch it. I'm going to give it a yes, because I like Mazinger. I'm kind of mad that they brought it. They carry, they're giving us this instead of another Mazinger. Kind of mad. Kind of mad. I'm mad now. He's mad. My impressions. It looks silly. Funny. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really get really say anything. So it's like uh, a half yes. Half yes. So moving on. Now we got happiness, charge, pretty, cure, magical. The eleventh season of the long-running pre-cure anime about a group of schoolgirls who transform and fight evil. Holy shit, no! I'm gonna say yes. If you're a fan of pretty cure, definitely check it out. I've been meaning to get into this series, and I guess this is as good as any place to get, jump into. Do we even read the fucking thing? Yeah, I did. How come I don't remember you saying 11th season? I did say it. Well, I was completely tuned out then. <coughs> so, okay. Yeah, if you like it. To me. Next up, we have... Meitane... Meitane Rascal. It's a children's mystery. Meitane. I don't know what May means, but Tante means detective. The anime follows a raccoon detective and his bear assistant as they solve mysteries. May means raccoon. Are you paying I don't know. It's a children's and it's a mystery. <coughs> we don't have a trailer, but I just can tell you right now it's fucking children's. I wonder if it pass. Yeah. It's not for us. Not for us. If you like checking out children's animes, just go for it. And as we're saying, because we're going to get another children's, Pick Lele. Pick Lele. It's a children's music. A cute short form anime for children about a group of ukulele playing animals. No. No. Absolutely not. Like I said, children's, not for us. I can't stand the ukulele. I don't have a problem with ukulele. Also, it's Pick Lele. Uh, and rape your dad? Yeah, pretty much. In prison. In the shower. 
And finally, finally, we have featured <laughs> card The genre, genre is Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is his own genre now. Where to watch it? YouTube and Hulu. An anime series based on a collectible card game about children who battle who battle by using cards to summon monsters. Yeah, I'm actually a little curious. Is this actually Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's look it up. I'm gonna, we're gonna watch the trailer. Beer Pass. Beer Pass. Well, the main character definitely has a Yu-Gi-Oh! hairstyle now. Yeah, he does. He got. He's got that going. But that's about it. Eh. Nope. 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 It's sad when Yu-Gi-Oh has its own genre now. I remember when Yu-Gi-Oh was good. Yeah, uh, now a bunch of people's like Yu-Gi-Oh was never good. I'll kill you and eat your family. And we are done for the winter 2014 anime guy. This. Ends our 2014 winter anime guide. So if you like any of these, give it a try. If you know, yeah. links will be all over the place. I hope our little spill here helped you make your decision. You know what you're We're totally on time, yo.